And how are you uh, being in, uh, in, in Europe, in Berlin, is affecting your work? I think it is in the sense that it's very difficult. I've never been able to sort of forcibly do work that is about somewhere else. Um, so I, I don't know how long I can continue uh, working. It's a, it's, a, it's a tough thing because I don't really believe in um, the artist as a mercenary of kind who gets picked up from one place and put in another and then he or she responds to that place immediately. It takes a while to internalize and to see, figure out your own relationship with that, with that city. Um, so I think that it'll take a while for me to figure out. I think it's happening in more at a, in an abstract attitude towards what I want to do rather than uh, exactly in terms of content. I think for me to, in terms of uh, content, to look at Germany is still, uh, you know, they're the, they're the regular things that a lot of DAD artists get interested in, which is East Germany, for instance. The moment you arrive there, you're really interested in socialist architecture, and because Germans themselves don't talk about it that much. It's quite ignored, the East German history. Uh, so a lot of, you know, whether it's Phil Collins or Tassett, some of Tassett Dean's work as well and other uh, subsequent artists who went and settled in Berlin, they've done a lot of work with East Berlin and East Germany, uh, whereas German artists themselves don't do it. But even that, after a while, after six, seven months of me getting really excited about it, it felt really um, cliched. So I didn't really do anything with it. But I am, I was interested in it I'm interested in architecture. Um, so I think it will take a while before I can figure out how it's changed uh, my work. But, work. but on the other hand, I think to forcibly do work which is located in Pakistan or in India, I can't do that either. I've always just worked with whatever's around me. Uh, I don't have a super nostalgic relationship with elsewhere. I try and deal with wherever I am. Um, but then I do live a life where I go back and forth. So right now when I'm here, um, there are a couple of things that I'm, I'm looking at. I may be able to collect um, some work for that and develop it later. Um, but right now, I think I'm, I'm, I've just been very, I've produced a lot of work in this past year. I did the documentary film and then I did this uh, photo um, work for Freeze. And I'm not, I don't work very fast and I don't make tons of work. So I think I've done my work for this year and I'm, now I'm just sort of reading. A lot of my, my past three films have been productions. They've all been funded. I've got professional crews. I've hired people. Um, and I think that I want to take a break from that and do something which is much more, uh, which is smaller in scale, which I, going back to being able to use the camera or uh, taking photographs or whether it's writing or whatever myself. Uh, so it's somehow personalizing. It's sort of becoming more, slightly more intimate. It's also becoming much more text and literature oriented. Uh, so I am really much more interested in, in, in including text in it, whether it's uh, fictional or whatever, or whether it's documentary narrative. Um, so it's becoming sort of more, it's becoming tighter rather than the slightly, um, uh, these vignettes of, of society. So a lot of my films have been vignettes where they've been like, you know, 60 to 100 extras, there's a, there's a space that I'm creating, uh, there's a moment in a day that I'm creating. Um, I think that is, um, that's what I'm going away from. And just, it's really nice to um, also not work, be working for, for big exhibitions or any deadlines, and I've, I've refused to do anything um, very big for another year uh, because of uh, having a kid, but also just because I think I needed a break, I don't want to work for deadlines at all. And, um, you know, they're very interesting, things. they're sort of crazy situations. For instance, there are these cinema halls in Karachi that were burnt down a month ago, six cinema halls. And I'm very interested in going and talking to all these cinema owners because these are cinema halls that I've grown up going to as a kid. And they were burned down one day um, recently in a riot. Um, so I think that that's, it's nice to do open-ended projects which I don't have any... Uh, end result right now. Uh, it, it, it gets very tiring as an artist to try and work for, um, for a project or for an exhibition. And it's only recently that I've been having to do a lot of that, so I'm looking forward to just sort of looking and observing and 
you know, collecting stuff. 